Okay, next we have agenda item 14. It's the SB1 uh, road maintenance and rehabilitation <laughs> account project list 2018-2019. Ben. All right, good evening, Mayor and members of the council. That's a tough act to follow here, but I'll, <laughs> I'll try to keep you, your attention. Um, so what I have before you is basically um, an annual approval and submittal um, to obtain SB1 funding. So uh, last year, approximately uh, almost a year ago, in the end of April 2017, uh, the California signed into law um, SB1, which um, basically increased the taxes on fuel tax and registration fees with, uh, with funding starting to come in as of January 2018. And so with that requirement, with that bill, um, there was a big push for accountability and transparency, which required uh, the agencies that are wanting to receive that money develop a project list and have it adopted um, by their local agency in the budget and also report back with some accounting yearly. So um, we did this um, not too long ago, maybe six months ago, when uh, right before when the when it was going into effect, and now we're getting into an annual cycle where we're going to come forward every May, before May, to submit to the CTC with a project list on how we're proposing to, um, to spend the money or allocate the money. Now, with that, there, there is a lot of flexibility in the funding that allows um, it doesn't have to necessarily be spent on the list, but that's where the, the goal is. And so, so right now, we've, we've, um, the funding is eligible for road maintenance, rehabilitation, safety projects, complete street components, traffic control devices, a lot of, of, a lot of um, uh, different public works um, functions. And so, so with that, we've, uh, we're, sl we're slated for the 17-18 year to receive 385000 which was sli slightly less than the original projection um, due to accounting and when the money came in. And then we're going to be on this approximately 1.1 to 1.2 annually um, for budgeting into the road fund. With that, we've developed a project list uh, that basically identifies these roads, uh, highlighted. Um, we've we've identified them and, and we'll submit them to um, the CTC with approval. Um, the list was developed based on our pavement management software and city priorities um, and traffic volumes. Um, this year, a particular project that we're slating money for is the, to um, be a cost share with the Franklin Avenue improvements that were talked earlier, and then also stockpile money for uh, Bridge Street um, corridor improvements where we could leverage money. And so with that, um, I'd be happy to answer any questions, and I recommend approving the project list and adopting a resolution that I can submit to the CTC. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Okay. Any questions? Ma Madam Mayor, mm -hmm. I just want to clarify something that I've shared with uh, at least one of you, if not more, regarding the amount of money that we have uh, dedicated to uh, roadway improvements annually. Um, the Public Works Department identified several years ago a number of six million in order to adequately maintain our roads. It needs to be invested on an annual basis. The number with these funds, uh, it's about 1.5 million. I misspoke. I said the number was uh, three million. I was thinking of a different number at the time, but so it's we're funding it at about the 25 percent level. So that said, this is this is helpful. These funds. So thank you. Great. Thank you for through, the through the mayor. Yes. Uh, ben, how if there's a current repeal effort on SB1 uh, that is that is being pushed forward, uh, if if that were to be successful, uh, what would that do to the funding level as we would be going forward into uh, the future years? It would be tough, honestly. Right now, the uh, the road funds come in from from various uh, gas taxes. Um, that have been been decreasing, and, and while operating costs have been increasing and construction costs have been increasing, so so currently those fund those those existing funding from the road fund is paying for the operations, and really this this new money is paying for projects um, with some with some TDA money, and so without this 1.1, it would put a um, yeah, as Steve mentioned, we're, we're looking for just to maintain where we're at approximately six million dollars a year. And so with the existing funding levels plus this, we're only having about 1.5. And so um, with a loss of 1.2 in, in change, we're losing that ability to um, match grant funds and to put out projects. And so um, 
it, it would put um, a detriment to the road fund. Thank you. Any other questions? No motion. Okay. Uh, through the mayor, uh -huh. uh, staff's recommendation, approve staff's recommendation. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? Great. Thank you.